Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right, another update for the Year of the Wolf, painting these long fangs up for Jamjar 34's Achievable April Challenge. Um, I'll put a link to Jamjar's channel in the description below. Please go and check it out if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, I've been a busy boy on these guys. Um, I've now finished base coating, uh, so I'm ready for the washes. Still one or two little bits I, I've got to like do, but I'll do that uh, later as I paint them. Um, but for now, I'm ready to do the washes. Um, I've also, as you can see on the left there, hooked out some uh, bases for them. So let me just zoom in here. So these are the urban rubble bases that I've got, 32 mil. Um, and I'll be painting these up, you know, obviously to match my army. I've also got a few bits and pieces so that uh, I've got some extra bits sort of to put on the top there. So I've got to sort those out. I have washed them, but I need to, to file them down. Um, because some of the basing on the bottom here has got like these ridges. So I'll have to file them down. I'll put them on a piece of sandpaper and just like file them flat. And I need to file these bits and pieces down as well. Uh, but that's for another time. Okay, so yeah, let's have a look at the painting. So start off with the pack leader, there you go. Uh, so from the, the last video, um, I've gone in, as you can see, I've done the pink for the Empress Children um, parts, and also on the sword there, we've got some uh, bone colors, so I've got the skull, and on this sword, we've got some little teeth, which are just there. Now, although I have painted this sword before, the sword that I painted before didn't have like these teeth hanging down. So um, it just shows that I've, obviously, because I made this army a long time ago, but it just shows how in depth I went to making sure that each individual model just had something different on. But uh, yeah, that's that guy fully base coated. He's ready for washes. Do the next one. So this is the next one. And... Uh, so you can see I've got Empress Children body there still, but uh, this time I decided to go for a black body. Uh, so you've got the pink button section. I've actually done a bit of weathering on that. So this was originally a corn body, corn berserker, uh, but I cut off the, the corn like um, symbol on that piece. Um, and then I suppose the only thing I want to say is obviously this piece here does look quite messy. It's basically the super glue. Um, now, it is quite a, a bit messy, but like I said, uh, but I, I could have taken that off, that super glue, but the super glue is there because it's like almost filling a, a gap where I obviously had it glued on. So when I actually put the gun into place, it sits exactly on that super glue. So I'm actually using it still, uh, keeping the super glue there almost like a bit of, like a bit of well, whatever, <laughs> something just to give it some surface area. So when I glue it back on, I'll have some nice surface area. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm gonna have to paint around that. Um, and then he's got uh, the boot, of course, just there. So not too much else on that one. So that's that one. Then the next one, done the horns, just there. Um, and of course I painted the shoulder pad, went for a pink kneecap in the end, um, when he's got the Black Legion stuff. So that's that guy. And again, you can see there, what I was talking about, a bit more here actually, the super glue that's around this join area. So, you know, I'm gonna paint it up like roughly to this area, but of course when the gun goes on, you're not gonna see any of that. So um, it's not gonna be an issue. So that's that one. We then have the helmetless guy, which I'm getting to focus, there you go. Uh, so this helmetless guy, I realized had some uh, leather like a leather strap holding his hair up. Um, actually, I got my other man out that had exactly the same head. Just have a look at some of the detail. And the, either, although it's the same head, it really does look different where I changed the uh, direction of the top knot. So I've got mine going like backwards on the right, and the original model is just going straight over to the left. And it really does change the head up, makes them look totally different. Um, but anyway, yeah, so going round, I've done the Empress Children backpack. So put some pink on the arrow. So that's that guy. And then the last one. 
Uh, what did I do on this one? So I obviously did the pink. Sh uh, uh, yeah, sh boot. Not boot. Shin pad. Yeah. <laughs> um, and of course I painted the skull there. So I'm painting the skull. I use um, Rack Earth Flesh as the base coat for my skulls. So that is that guy. The two Imperial guns, uh, there was nothing to do on those. But then I started work on the other two guns. So went in with this gun here. Now this gun is the Black Legion gun. Um, I haven't actually done too much with the actual gun itself, but what I have done is I've painted the um, piece of cloth that's coming down there. Now decided, um, I struggled with which colours to go for, but I just tried to keep a theme in my army. So um, I worked out that the uh, Black Legion like hair pieces on some of their helmets um, and also their swords I'd painted in a red colour so I've decided to duplicate that on that, that piece of cloth um, so I went for that and I've also got um, if you can see that in there a little pink shoulder pad so he's wearing a Empress Children shoulder pad and now so I went to the the opposite because I didn't want uh, this like whole piece to be either all Black Legion or all Empress Children so on the uh, Black Legion gun I gave him the Empress Children shoulder pad and also his glove is going to be Empress Children uh, which sort of seems to make sense um, and he will be no sorry and then this one will be the opposite. So this is the Empress Children uh, gun, which obviously got a lot more gold sort of stuff on there, um, and all the hair pieces and stuff on my Empress Children is blue. So I stuck with that theme, um, and then I've given given him a Black Legion shoulder pad um, and a Black Legion glove. So it's sort of got the opposites on them, and I think it works quite well. So going back to a nearly base coating, the only things left to do, um, which I'll do later on as I paint, is these little skull things here, which, to be fair, the reason why I haven't painted them and I struggle to work out what they are, had a big chat uh, with the Jank Master, so thank you Jank Master. I put a link to his channel in the description, go and check that out as well. Uh, but yeah, we had a big chat about it, we concluded that it's um, basically like rotten heads, um, attached to the gun with their hair um, and it's got like some rotten flesh on and then it's got like the skull um, underneath as well so um, there's one on the front of the gun and there's one on the back of the gun there's also one on these chaos uh, backpacks here as well let me get that to focus you can't really see it, see it because of the grey uh, the black primer but yeah um, that seems to be what they are um, but anyway, I decided just to leave that um, and also the head itself. Yeah, so I left the head, um, the skin and the hair. I'm going to do that later. I did, however, go in and I finished the grey armour around the head. If you can see that at the back of the head there, that's all been done. It wasn't previously. So, a good amount of work um, and uh, exciting times because now I am ready for the washes uh, which is really good once the washes go down we're onto the highlights um, and uh, I feel like I'm making good progress with these guys so I really hope you like them uh, thanks for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video